do van life, they say. You can work from home, they say. It will be fun, they say. I mean, come on. Come on, that's pretty freaking cute. Today on Montana Dana, I build myself a back patio and have a near perfect day in van life. That is until our friendly little nature friend Winona decided to join us. Like and subscribe for more travel and van life content. I've been wanting to build a back patio, so I'm gonna measure out my back door and then go buy parts for that. And maybe I'll build that tomorrow. I have all the ideas for it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it work, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Special thank you to Libby and also Courtney Stafford. You guys are helping me buy my back patio. Thank you so much for your donation to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are helping me out so much. Get back on the road, get back to van life. You know, just function as a normal human. So thank you guys. I'm gonna go purchase some PVC pipe and try and Jimmy rig <laughs> a back patio with curtains. So I'll have a little more privacy while I'm out and about and I wanna sit on my back porch. Sometimes I don't mind having them open, but sometimes I wanna sit out there and write a song or like do whatever you know have a little privacy so thank you guys i appreciate it so i'm basically making a cube with pvc pipe so i need eight of these corner pieces and then 12 pieces of three quarter inch pvc pipe i had them cut these to six feet each okay i got my back patio stuff hopefully it works now i bought the materials a couple weeks ago but i'm finally down south where it's warmer so we're gonna build it today good morning i'm in palm springs i got in after dark last night so i don't even really know where i'm at i picked up a highly reviewed spot on iOverlander and showed up and parked and let's check out the view. Good morning California. Are those palm trees in the distance? Yes I think they are. Hello everyone. I would like you to meet Happy Dana. She thrives in the sunshine and the dry heat. It's gonna be a good day. Both my jackers are charged. It feels like super chill and nice here. I might back my trailer up to that view so I can open it up and just have a little privacy. There might be wind on the radar today, so we'll keep an eye on that. But for now, I'm gonna go fill up my coffee and get my work day started. Oh, I love being able to just walk outside and not have to bundle up. It's seven in the morning, sun is out. Happy, 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 happy. Also, there's a Starbucks in walking distance if I do happen to need internet or better upload speed or if I run out of jackery power and don't have enough sunlight, but should have enough sunlight today. and I have to tidy up real quick. It's gonna be a quick five minute clean. Since we got so much sunshine, I'm gonna put up my little happy little balls. My little Bob Ross balls. They bring happy little rainbows into my little tiny apartment. <laughs> Suburban. Yay, these people are leaving. I'm gonna take your spot. Oh yeah. I'm gonna back it right up to there and set up my patio. First day setting up my patio. I really hope it works. got set up but one of these is the wrong size i don't think any of it's gonna work i'm gonna need to have them on all eight corners guess i'll go to a hardware store and get another one but... hmm what could be the fix oh what if i don't use that one so this one will be yeah i might be able to make it work making lemonade of lemons it's a quarter past eleven I'm 
mean, come on, come on, that's pretty freaking cute. Gives me a little bit of privacy. I need to cover up that PVC pipe. I think I got 12 PVC pipes and then eight of the corner pieces and just put it all together. I mean, if there's any wind, this thing is toppling over. And I think I want to figure out a way to like fasten it to that. We're also on a slant, so I need to be able to level this. I want to get some jacks eventually, but I mean, come on. It's pretty dreamy. I cut a few pieces of my macrame string because I need some string to hold those closed. I'm also gonna tie string from here and attach it to this just so it kind of stays and doesn't wobble so much. It's really cute, I really like it. I know it's gonna topple over at some point today. I am aware of this. There was a wind warning, but I am gonna just chill until hopefully this guy isn't coming over to tell me to leave. Haha, <laughs> thank you. He said very nice, I like it. I like it a lot too, bro. I think it's cute, it's cute as fuck. Freaking PVC pipe, y'all. I do have to cover that one up though because my OCD is getting to me. It like frames the view. And also if I just want it to be fully closed in, I can close the curtains. If the view is here, I can pull these open. Same over here. I love it. It gives me a little more privacy. I'm gonna drink so much coffee under these little flowy curtains of love and delight. I feel like I have a spare bedroom out there. Who wants to come over and hang out? You can sleep out on the back patio. I really love it. I really love it. Oh gosh, it's a little wobbly in the wind. I'm gonna just like retighten all the corners a teeny weeny bit. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna topple over for sure today. I got so excited about that. I haven't even taken a sip of my coffee. I'm gonna sit out here, write in my journal, drink some coffee, and enjoy my new little view. Your arms felt like home. Why they let me go? It's sad. What we could have had. is exactly what I envisioned. I, I've i thought of this little back patio so many times. I envisioned having two curtains, two curtains, two curtains hanging up. And I was like, how am I gonna make that happen? I was thinking I'd do like the screw in wooden dowels and drill into the back, like have something for the dowel to screw into. That's probably more sturdy. But I went into Ace Hardware and I just happened to find this PVC pipe. I'm like, that could work. That could work it's not as sturdy so i might eventually get wooden dowels but as long as it's not windy it's like it's so dreamy it's so dreamy and just having like the flowy calming vibes is really nice i have a bunch of these clips and so i use those so it's not like flailing everywhere like i clipped these two together i wrapped the material around the pvc pipe and clipped it in the back so the pvc pipe isn't showing enjoying just a calm peaceful morning the coffee's a little cold but so I might make another coffee, but this is my backyard today. Happy, 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 happy. Just about to do my edit for the day, so I'm gonna set up my Jackery. We have plenty of sunlight. Hallelujah. This is the last song that I'll write about you. This is the last tear that I'll cry over you. Coming in. So this is the last song that I'll write about you. I know this is ridiculous, but I hollowed out an amp that matches my ambiance to put my jackery in because orange is not my vibe. Just, it's just not. It's just not at all my vibe. All right, gonna plug in the computer there and have a nice relaxing edit from home day. Thank you, sunshine. Thank you, Palm Springs. Oh. Oh, oh, oh boy. All right, the wind's picking up just a little bit. I know what I need. I need more clippy thingies. I think I have more clippy thingies in here. Ooh, that's a big clippy thingy. I mean, it'll work. All right, we made it. We made it. We got it figured out. God, it smells, it smells so good in here. Cedarwood musk. And this one, this one's at Target. Rustic Palo Santo. Oh my God. It finally happened. Yep. 
I knew it. I knew it's gonna happen. I'm just ha glad it didn't happen. Atop my computer, I saw the wind blowing out there in the distance and down she goes. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Blowing all of the sand inside of my vehicle. Cute. I'm just gonna throw all that out there and close the back. Now there's sand on everything. A literal everything. Closing up the back hatch. There's even sand in my teeth. This is why we can't have nice things. From home, they say. It will be fun, they say. Lies. All lies. I don't think I've ever once just had a full relaxing day of van life. Like once. Never. Never once. Full day of relaxing. They're lying to you. Van life is not great. It sucks. Van life is the literal worst. The literal fucking worst. Oh no, there's sand on everything. Like a big gust of wind. Just, oh no. Spent about an hour setting that up and then got a good 10 minutes of editing in. I'm just gonna put it in drive mode and go to Starbucks. <laughs> this lifestyle <laughs> is not fun. I People are lying to you. Like I can show just the dreamy part of what just happened. I could do that. Like hashtag bad life, it's so great. It is not so great. It's the worst every single day it's like amazing for an hour and then it's fucking chaos but i'm not gonna lie to y'all about it you just rely so much on having the perfect situation weather wise and you rely so much on internet like right now my phone is not connecting to the 5g network so i can't even post a tiktok from where i'm at it's a pretty view it's a great place to park i'll probably sleep here again tonight oh no my little bottle's broke now my morning just turned into we need to go buy a vacuum and clean everything in the van that's what we're doing today editing videos no we're not doing that i could have been done with my edit right now it's just so much. It's so much. I mean, that would have been lovely if the wind did not pick up, but I was like, man, oh, bitches be lying. I mean, there was like a wind warning. Oh no, my laptop's covered in ash and soot. This is why we can't have nice things. Just wipe that down real quick. This is not a relaxing lifestyle, trust. This is like pure survival mode every day, all day. So why am I doing it? I don't know. I keep thinking maybe it will get better someday and it just keeps never getting better. I'm trying. I moved to the heat. That's good. That's a plus. I ordered a hotspot from Verizon and upgraded my phone from AT&T. So hopefully I'll have a little more internet connection, but ha damn. Ha damn. Yeah, I need to go buy a vacuum. I don't really want to go to a Starbucks, but I just need to remove all the elements and get my work done for the day. That's all I need to do. Very peaceful morning, very stressful afternoon. If I didn't have a job, if I was just like trust funding it or, you know, saved up a bunch of money and was just, I would just chill right now. I'll just come in here, watch a show, chill. But mama's gotta pay the bills. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go edit at the Starbucks. Oh, I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> I'm waiting for that one day where just everything goes to plan or just everything's relaxing the whole day. I've never had a full day of relaxation, seriously. There's sand in me eyebrows. There's sand in my teeth. I mean, you expect a little sand. It's van life, obviously that's gonna happen, but like the biggest gust of sand just whew, right onto my piano, right into my van. Sandstorm, sandstorm. Oh my God, my face is so sandy. Now I just wanna shower and take a nap, but I have to go upload a video. So we're going to Starbucks. Okay, see you there.
and Winona decided to join us in Palm Springs. Obviously, I knew there was a wind warning. I wasn't expecting a gust of sand to fly in my van, but I knew that my curtains would fall over eventually. But thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, write Sandy down in the comments and I will write you back. Did you like my back patio setup? I'm so excited to use it in the next few days because there is not a wind warning. I think it's really cute. I love it. I can also set it up anywhere. It doesn't have to be on the back patio. So I'll have a little shelter wherever I go. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.